I'm Olive Barrows and these are the stories making headlines. America has issued a travel advisory ahead of President Barack Obama's visit to Kenya next Friday. According to the U.S. State Department, a big event like the Global Entrepreneurship Summit is a possible target for terrorists and other crimes. U.S. citizens have been urged to be cautious during the GES that will take place between July 24th and 26th in Nairobi. Five people were killed when Al-Shabaab militants carried out a bomb attack on a Kenya police lorry that was ferrying officers and civilians from Garissa. According to Kenya Red Cross officials, the lorry hit a landmine planted on the Budai Road in Lamu before the militants hurled grenades at it. Those killed in the attack include a mother and her child who had hiked a lift from Garissa to Lamu County. Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi is expected in the country just a few days ahead of U.S. President Barack Obama's visit. Renzi, who is expected to give a public lecture on combating extremism at the University of Nairobi on Wednesday, is to hold bilateral talks with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Top on the agenda are matter security, refugees and tourism, with Italians being major stakeholders in the coastal tourism circuit. He calls himself 50 Cent, but the hip-hop mogul says that he may not even be worth that. The rapper known for the album and movie Get Rich or Die Trying filed for bankruptcy protection on Monday as he faced a hefty payout in a lawsuit related to a sex tape. The bankruptcy filing, which would protect 50 Cent from paying creditors, came days after a jury ordered him to pay half a billion shillings to a woman who appeared in a sex tape that went online in 2009. In the video, 50 Cent poses as his alter ego Pimpin Curly, sporting a wig and speaking in an artificially high voice as he narrates the Florida woman woman's sexual encounter and mocks fellow rapper Rick Ross who has a child with her. 50 Cent's lawyers say that he was not responsible and that Ross or Ross's associates released the video in which the woman has sex with another man. But a New York jury sided with the woman holding 50 Cent responsible for violating her civil rights and inflicting emotional distress. For more on these and other stories, subscribe to the Capital FM Kenya YouTube channel.